in the structure going public on the big board today at $16 a share. Joining me is the company CEO, Josh Coates. Good to see you, congrats. Thank you, Rhonda. So you're in an interesting business. Basically, you're trying to take on Blackboard. You're in this learning system software. Universities use it, but you've got corporate clients too, like Tesla. Yes, yeah, we have a lot of corporate clients. Primarily, it's on the academic side, and we, we just launched uh, into the corporate uh, market this year. So where is this market going? What kind of growth opportunities do you see? You've had huge year-on-year -year customer growth in your company. Yeah, everything is going up and to the right in this market. Um, K through 12 school districts are starting to use more and more software because it's cloud-based, they can access it. Um, all the universities are flipping over to cloud infrastructure now. And on the corporate side, most training is done in person, in a conference room, it's really inefficient. And they're all switching to software systems to, to help train their employees. Tell me about the timing for your IPO. You were backed by venture capital, so why was there the need to go into the public markets? As you may or may not know, there was another IPO that was supposed to go today that pulled due to market conditions. It's a, it's a rocky market, but we can't time the markets, and Instructure was ready to go public. We've been working and planning to go public for, well, since the beginning of the company. We think being public makes you more of a, a real company. So what do you have that Blackboard doesn't? We were the, the first learning management system technology to, to be in the cloud. That means we continuously innovate, we're updating our software every three weeks. Uh, we're on Amazon Web Services, so we've got this global infrastructure in place. It's a very different approach to software than a lot of the old vendors have. Some of your spending is very, very high, and if you look at some of the filings, you're clearly not public. Where are you in terms of the balance uh, sheet side of things. When can investors expect that some of that investment spending will slow down and turn into profitability? So we, we're actually a little different than most private companies. We only raised $90 million and we still have 30 million on the balance sheet. So we've built this whole company on only 60 million, which is pretty atypical for, for companies that are as high growth as we are. Uh, the sell side guys, they have their estimates about when we're going to flip to cash flow positive, but uh, it's in our windshield. So you have got a lot of experience doing this, actually building tech companies. You grew tech companies, you sold to some really big name firms like Intel, EMC, I believe. Is right. this what you hope to eventually do with Instructure? Uh, sell? No. <laughs> no, 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 we, we just got public, right? We're, so we're, I'm excited to run a public company for many years. And uh, of course, being public, you have a little less control over who owns your stock. Uh, so down the road, who knows how, how that'll work out, but we're excited about being independent and public and continuing to grow. So beyond what we read in the filing, what's the big risk factor in your mind, in your view? I mean, I guess the one issue we have is this concern that some smaller universities will close over the next couple of years, but I guess you'll look more on the corporate side. I'm just trying to, in your mind, weigh is it general economic growth slowdown or something else? Uh, you know, the things we worry about actually are how to maintain the level of growth we maintain and kind of and culturally stay focused on making great software. And as far as the market, like, you know, people were worried about education on a kind of macro scale. Uh, schools, real big solid institutions, they're not closing. People are not going to stop getting degrees. People are not going to stop going to K through 12 school districts. And every corporation needs to train their employees, onboard them, get them compliance certified. So this market is very solid, very healthy, and, and growing. But can you can you compete uh, with 96% year-on-year customer growth? That's competing with your last numbers. <laughs> <laughs> well, at some point we might slow down, but um, we're going to keep going up and to the right for the foreseeable future. Josh Coates, it's been fun. Thanks so much. Thank you.